Hey guys, welcome to this modding tutorial. This is optional, though it's nice to know what's in your files. A visual representation of any Unity game. Find that game and head to data. Locate your shared assets files. Know that there could be anything in this list. When selecting your assets file, make sure you're accessing assets, not rest or resource. Locate the assets file. Here you'll find your scene hierarchy, though you'll need to go to your assets list. Once here, press type. You can find things from animation, textures, and in this case, we're looking at meshes. We want the 3D object. Asset Studio is optional, though like everything else in the video, will be in the description. This not only works for Boneworks, but it works for every Unity game. If you need to know what is what, download it may become a lifesaver. Export. Do what you want. Now that we've finished that, head to the description and download the UAB Unity Assets Bundle Extractor. This is what you'll be using to sort out those week one through week four mods. This includes body textures, replacing vanilla files, meshes, textures, whatever you prefer. Pause if needed. Download UABE. Run the EXE. Go to File. Load. Select your game and find your assets files, typically in data. Just make sure the file type is asset. Now that you've loaded your file, select name and type. This will make things a lot easier to locate. In a brief explanation, click on UABE and type in your texture or mesh. Though you only have a three second window, we'll change one of the boxes in game to this texture. Click plugins, find edit, press OK, load. Now we have to find the PNG that you're using for your texture. When you find that said file, open and follow OK to each prompt. Another way to search in UABE is to click View and search by name. Scrolling down, we find the bottle, though if we go into Plugins, you'll notice the DAE and the object file. So we must have done something wrong. Going back to the bottle, I've noticed this is a mesh file. So to fix this, we have to go back to Search by Name, and you'll find a Down and Up button. One of them will work. And there is our texture. Like any texture, head to Plugins. To make sure this is the right texture, in a lot of games, there's typically a lot of different variations of names of objects. And because of that, I'll show you how to export textures as well. Select Export to PNG and download to any folder. The easiest for me is to put it where the other one is. It's come up the same file because I've already done this before. Though if your texture looks the same or very similar, it's easy to say you found your file, pal. Now as normal, we can go back to the texture and load the right PNG. Now that you know everything about the textures, here comes the meshes. This one is knife mesh. Disregard everything after the name. Like before, search by name. Type in your mesh. And find that mesh. Here is where it's different. To load a mesh file, you have to import the dump. Find so-called dump and select your mesh. That's it. And with so much customization with Foxy's knife, you know there could only be one. And boys, I think we found that one. Press Modified, and you will find every single named asset file that you have edited. When you're ready to save, head to File, click Save As, and create a new folder. Remember, you cannot save over the files that you are editing, but you can make a copy of those set files. You won't always get shared assets for, or three even. It depends on each item where that is located. Which shared assets file is it? It could be a nine, who knows? As soon as you've saved, you can exit. And that's why I use Asset Studio, so I know which shared asset I should go to before I even go to UABE. The man's brain is wrinkly. We want those vanilla files so we can revert back to any given point. So keep that in your pocket and know that if you messed up your mods, that is your fault, not ours. If you ever need to fix your game because you didn't copy your vanilla files, all you have to do is delete those files. Go to Steam, right click properties on that game, go to local files, and verify the integrity. Make sure to copy your mod files over to your game before you play it. And if you like this video, give it a like. I would like to make more of these.
Maybe I'll make a game. Only time will tell, but hey, it's something I'd like to do. Why not? Just like last episode. I'll see you next time, muchachos. Peace.